What's going on, Bunch of Crunch Army? It's your boy Keith Allen back again to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips to make you a better Fortnite player. Today, we're going to be talking about Arena and going over some juicy tips to getting those Arena points up quick. However, this season intends to change things up a bit, so now is the perfect time to go over those changes and really just figure out the best way to stay on top of the competition. Before we begin, let's start with a refresher on Arena points. All right, so if you're a player looking to take a deep dive into competitive, then the first thing that you're going to want to do during a season is really make sure that you qualify for as many tournaments as possible, especially when qualifying for the FNCS, which is the crowning jewel of tournaments. This could be the ticket that really gets you in the loop with the big leagues. However, if you start Arena too late, you can miss out on many opportunities. Eventually, you're going to want to start playing in scrimmage matches, but first you need to prove yourself by getting to the Champions League. One of the key aspects of gathering arena points is understanding how the points are distributed. Yes, it's time to get mathematical, guys. This is going to help you guys keep track of how many points that you can earn per game, as well as how many points you're going to need to earn each match. Okay, so you get points for each kill, certain placements, and getting the victory out, of course. This season, there is more emphasis on playing aggressive. This is reflected by the abundance of reboot bans and, you know, weapon additions and opportunities for rotation. However, Epic has made changes to the arena system in order to up the challenge and time that really takes you to reach the Champions League. You know, one such change is the increase in point values for eliminations in the Open League. On top of that, you are now required to hit 7,500 points points to reach Champions League this season. Another change is that you can now drop rank if you fall too close to the border between divisions and lose points. So you gotta watch out for that. Now you need to pick and choose how you wanna play if you wish to qualify in those later tournaments. Here is the breakdown of the point values. All right, guys, so up until the Champions League, you have the opportunity to earn up to 135 arena points simply surviving till the top two with zero kills. However, you're not guaranteed to always get that top two. So if you plan to rank up an arena fast, you're going to have to do more than just get some kills, man. So once the buzz fair begins to kick in, you're going to want to get enough points to balance out what you spend per game with what you get. Due to the increased prices this season, I mean, it's going to feel like a bit more of a grind, but that's just what we're here for. All right, so each elimination will earn you 20 arena points until you reach Division 4. At that point, the bus fare will be set to 10 points per game and eliminations will drop down to 15. However, if you're going to go for duos, you're going to see that the eliminations will go down to 10 at Division 4. From Division 4 till Division 7, as long as you last pass 25th place, you're going to start getting placement points. You're going to also be able to break even as long as you reach the top 12. Once you've reached Division 8, you've officially entered the Champions League. This is where the bus fare will rate starting at 60 points to a whopping 80. Now, you won't be able to rely solely on survival. You have to rely on your skills to not only place higher, but start getting those elimination points and hopefully a few victory Royales. All right, guys, so if you want to get better right now but feel stuck, don't know how to do it, then I have the perfect thing for you guys. One-on-one -on -one pro guys coaching. Our world-class coaches are here to teach you from A to Z how to improve, get more mechanically skilled, and go over a master plan to really help you guys improve and start winning. Join ProGuides.com today, link down below. All right, so if you haven't played Arena before watching this video, then you're probably starting off in the Open League in Division 1. For Open League, you're going to want to play aggressively. With the extra boost and elimination points and no consequences for dying, this is the time to rack up those points. And if you can keep getting elimination points and place highly, then you're going to see yourself breezing through the first three divisions. Okay, so another key thing to really keep in mind is throwing what the most contended spots are. Okay, so if you're looking for elimination points, then look towards Believer Beach and Retail Row. These areas are becoming pretty popular drop spots and a great way of just getting into those early game fights. Just keep track of what the bus route is, is really going to be at the start of the match. If you start your drop correctly, you can be one of the first players to touch ground and have a weapon in hand. This is going to give you guys a major advantage over players who drop in after you. There are also plenty of vehicles in the area to get you ready to chase after more fights once you've wrapped up in one area. Okay, so with the new point system comes a change in which game mode to really focus on when grinding those arena points. This season, the favorite game mode for ranking up fast is duos. 
Yes, duels, you heard me right. Duels has become favorable for a variety of different reasons. For starters, the new point changes towards elimination stays at 20 up till Division 4. This is fantastic when compared to trios where the points start at 15. While solos does keep the elimination points up to 15 past Division 4, negatives to playing solo revolve around the player count. And so with 99 individual players fighting for eliminations, the points become pretty spread out, meaning you're going to get less eliminations per match. In duels, it's a perfect balance of just having more players players on the map without struggling with full teams of three. Not only that, but having a second player on your side means you're going to still get the benefit of having a second set of eyes looking out for you and vice versa. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. I say that all the time. Yeah, so take advantage of just having that second player, man. Like try to spread out when engaging enemies since this is going to force them to have their attention on two separate areas at once. This also works when you've locked yourself in a build fight or a box fight. Having that other player attacking and editing at the same time during those close combat situations can really shake up your opponent. Okay, so earlier we mentioned the importance of playing aggressively during the open league. This is to obtain many points as possible to really climb up the ranks fast while there are no consequences. You know, you should be able to play aggressive up to Division 6 without taking too much of a hit per bus fare. However, once you reach Division 7, you're going to want to step back and just take more of a passive approach to your gameplay. This is a 20 point jump in bus fare between Division 6 and 7, which brings the fare up from 30 points to 50 points per game. Alright guys, so from this point, you're going to want to focus more on placements rather than fights. Fight smarter, not harder. You're still encouraged to get as many eliminations as you can, but also pick and choose you know, those fights rather than just heading straight into danger each time. The benefit of grinding team-based game modes is that placements are easier to obtain when the rest of the lobby is just focused on taking each other out. After all, you know most of the other players are going for those elimination points, so staying out of the way will still reward you until you're ready. Alright guys, so one of the best advantages that you can have is being inside the zone. If you're caught outside the zone, it's possible that the storm will eventually catch up to you. Alright, so this can hurt you by putting you at the mercy of players waiting within the zone to catch you off guard as you rush to safety. You know, as long as you stay in the zone, you're going to be the one calling the shots as the storm really closes in. And so this could be a really good opportunity to be the one getting the kills as the match progresses. If you manage to stay in a good place, you can prepare yourself without having to go through the craziness that is in the early game. All right, so this might seem like a pretty obvious tip, but let's be real. Like many of the pros who compete in major tournaments are able to breeze through arena. And so this is why that you see them able to just grind all day and come out with thousands of points. You know, they're skilled at the game and therefore have increased chances, not only reaching the highest placements per game, but also more eliminations and even victory outs. These players are built for fighting. And so even if you manage to avoid conflict by staying hidden and, you know, out of sight, it's just only a matter of time before you just need to start actively playing the game to rank up. This is where your true competitive test really begins. Do you have the accuracy to end a fight quickly? You know, some players in lower divisions are going to be less capable of performing complex moves. However, as you go up in rank, Okay, you're going to encounter more and more players who are in this for the long run. Luckily, by now, many of the big pros would have already achieved Champions League, meaning that you're less likely to really run across them. So take this opportunity to really learn how to edit and practice your aim, guys. Creative is still the best place to practice your mechanical skills using 1v1s, aim maps, and edit courses. Grinding Arena will be where you need to put these skills to use. So once you've mastered the mechanics, start grinding Arena. If you want to increase your odds of survival, you need to start treating this as if you were practicing for a real tournament. Finding a good landing spot and start grinding it, I'm telling you. Become familiar with the landscape, the resources, and the chests in the area. So during the Open League, you're going to want to focus primarily on contested spots such as Believer Beach and Retail Row. However, as you progress, you're going to want to find more secluded spots where you can just gather loot that is going to take you to the late game. You know, you're going to have opportunities later to take down enemies. And so with that being said, guys, another detail to look out for, which isn't exclusive to any one POI, are the crows. Crows come in epic and legendary variations. Finding one can really reward you with meat and a weapon of equal rarity as long as you can bring it down. This can be a great opportunity to really get a decent loadout fast, so keep your eyes open. You also need to have an understanding of what weapons and equipment are sought out amongst pro players. Okay, so the new Chili Chug can offer a great advantage when you want to get more shields, but also speed up your team. This can make all the difference when fighting other players. Ghost Floppers are definitely going to help you rotate. Once you're in the air after a trip through the launch pads, you can cancel out the ghost effect and redeploy. This is going to give you guys a great bird eye view of the surrounding area, which is great for spotting players from a distance. It also is going to give you a chance to rotate from one area to the next. 
If you follow these tips, you're going to be able to achieve arena points faster than you could before. Understanding the fundamentals of arena will prevent you from making avoidable mistakes that can set you back entire divisions. Remember, guys, to be a pro, you need to get into the mindset of a pro. All right, guys, bunch of grits on me. That's all I got for you guys today. Did you guys enjoy today's video? We hope you guys did. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word. We got so much more amazing content coming out. I'll see you in the next one. Stay grinding. Peace.